morning, Jacob Lundquist from JLQ Knives, and this morning I got for you the Shark by Design Evo Typhoon. This thing's pretty awesome. Let's run over some specs for you. Again, this is the Shark by Design Evo Typhoon. I have the Japanese Tonto. It comes in uh, two other variants, and also other um, blade and uh, handle uh, configurations. We have the Japanese Tonto, which I personally ordered, the American Tonto, and a drop point blade shape. This also comes in a carbon fiber inlay. Of course, that's what I ordered. I'm a carbon fiber nut. You also have a really cool embossed handle and an aspirated handle as well. Very cool combinations you can get in this thing when you're able to pre-order it. Um, so actually, I pre-ordered this thing back in uh, November on Black Friday. So it's been like six months and uh, it was well, well worth the wait. Um, let's run over some specs really quick and then we'll get right into uh, the nitty gritty and the review. So, the Evo Typhoon Japanese Tonto version, which I personally have. The overall length is 8.375 inches, blade length 3.75 inches, and a blade thickness of 0.14 inches. This is, the steel on this is Bowler M390. We have a satin finished blade. Uh, the handle is 4.625 inches and the thickness is overall 0.54 inches. So yeah, I have to say, this was actually a very difficult review for me. Why it was so hard? I had a really hard time finding any cons on this knife. This thing is pro-tastic. I don't know what else I could say. This thing is epic. This thing is incredible. Um, this is definitely the nicest knife I've ever owned and purchased, and man, I'm happy. I got in on that pre-order. If you didn't, I'm sorry. So we'll quickly run over a few size comparisons for you to go along with those specs. Uh, the first one up is the Delica. As you can see here, it's definitely uh, around the same handle uh, length, but definitely got a lot more blade for you. And um, yeah, they're, they're just a nice comparison because everybody knows what a Delica looks like and feels like. Uh, next up is the Benchmade Griptilian. Again, about the same handle thick, um, sorry, about the same handle overall length, and really the blade belly and tip, you get about the same. Um, so that's a good comparison for, if you're familiar with the uh, Benchmade Griptilian, it's about the same overall handle feel in the hand. Next up is that Civivi uh, Anthropos, designed by Elijah Isham. Um, yeah. Very cool, another great Japanese maker, Wii Knives. And uh, this, of course, is made by Riot, the Evo Typhoon, uh, designed though by Brian Nadal of Sharp by Design. Um, but yeah, here's a good comparison here. Carbon fiber, um, Anthropos is definitely shorter and a little bit, uh, little bit um, thinner in the pocket, but overall kind of a fun comparison for that action. And then last but not least is the North Arm Skaha. Again, about the same handle um, length, um, but you get a, a bit more blade in that Evo Typhoon, which is quite nice. All right, now let's get into the nitty gritty, the actual review of this wonderful, <laughs> this, thing, this thing's awesome, this, this great knife. A um, lot of pros, like I said. First of all, let's go over it. Um, I like to talk about those ergonomics. Brian, I think this is the perfect, for myself, I got medium, large size hands. This is the perfect knife fit for myself. I mean, it fits in the in the hand wonderfully. I feel, I, I, I grip down on it, I feel zero hot spots, nothing. This, I'll get to the pop clip why, why that is, but it just feels incredible in the hand. You have great purchase uh, overall and um, yeah, the ergos in this thing are just wonderful. Everything is smooth, contoured, filleted, and just, you can't feel the inlay. I love the pivot screws, how they have that awesome machining around them just to raise them up a little bit. It's, it's insane. That brings me right, those ergos bring me right into the fit and the finish of this knife. It is, incredible this thing i mean you, if you have to look for the line on the back to see it uh, it almost looks like an integral i mean you only have two fasteners holding it together it goes through your pocket clip into the back then you have your pivot screw 
And the construction of this thing is, is incredible. The fit and finish, the action, it, it, um, yeah, that's where fit and finish goes right into action because, because of how well it's made, that action with the uh, sharp by design integral detent, I can't say enough. It, it feels, I want to say it feels different than a, than a knife. Um, I mean, look at the, uh, the North Arm Skaha. It, it has a little bit different sound to it and you get that, that, um, I'll be quiet, that little click more of the detent ball going into, into your, your blade. But with the, uh, Typhoon, it's, it's a lot smoother. Um, nice, nice thwack, but, but with his integral ramp, it just, it just finds its home in the blade. Um, a lot more refined in my opinion. Um, so that is awesome. Um, I'll uh, show a few uh, uh, of of my teardown video here. Of you can so you can see the uh, how that actually works. But it's just a machine part of the um, lockup bar insert and uh, over travel stop. It's just it's awesome. Great job, Brian. I mean, incredible. Next, because oh, this thing is just I mean I can tell this thing was designed with everything in mind. Go to that pocket clip. The Ergos are so great because of that pocket clip. That's your hot spots where I find, and this thing has nothing. Um, also, it's just a great pocket clip. It goes in the pocket wonderfully. It, it releases, it doesn't um, pull in any of those, of your pocket, it's not gonna tear anything up. A lot like the Griptilian, this thing is a pocket um, muncher, man. This, with all this texture and stuff, it just tears my pocket apart. Um, so I love how smooth and this thing just goes in and out of the pocket. I have the carbon fiber. I'm not aware of, of how the other ones work, um, but this carbon fiber is, is wonderful in the pocket. I'm going to go back a little bit because of the carbon fiber too. I feel like I, I just have a lot nicer way of, of opening it. Sometimes with those, um, frame locks, you put a little pressure with your pinky or your, or your, or your uh, or your other fingers when you're opening it because you're, you're actually kind of resting right on that um the lock there but with the carbon fiber it's it's over top of it so you can you can actually just give it a good grip and you get that perfect flick every single time next for my pros is definitely the uh, value um i got in on the the black friday deal like i said before and so I think Blade HQ has these for 375, or they're gonna be having them for about that price. Um, if you type in Evo Typhoon on the uh, search bar, you can kind of see the prices there, even though they say price coming soon, you go into the link. Little trick there. Um, so I got this though for a pre-order. If you paid it full, 300 bucks. And uh, I was like, ooh! It, it was a little bit debating, um, about five seconds, and then I was on it. I mean, this thing, I, I knew, I needed I needed to elevate my my knife collection game. I didn't need to. I just really wanted to, and uh, this was the one to do it with. And I am so happy that I uh, made the leap. Been following Brian ever since I got into the Knife Nuts podcast, which I got the Knife Nuts podcast because of Mike from Ikem Knives. So I progressed. You know, I kind of started following Grismo guys, looking how they do machining and knives. And I thought found Mike and uh, watching him on YouTube. And I just, I'm a CNC by trade. I'm a design engineer, but I just, I mean, I'm, if I've been in the knives my entire existence as a kid. So um, kind of like the transit, the, the evolution of, ah, the evolution, Evo evolution of, of my knife journey brought me to the Evo Typhoon, the evolution of the Typhoon. Very cool. Next, of course, is the steel. I love a good steel choice. This is M390, Bowler M390. Um, this thing is wicked sharp out of the box. Um, it is really thin behind the edge. Epic, epic blade, great steel choice. Thank you for, uh, for uh, definitely giving us that. Awesome, awesome job. And last but not least, for me, is that flipper tab. That's probably a little controversial, but man, I, out of all my knives, this thing is so comfortable to, to actually deploy. 
I know why he does it. It is so awesome to use. I also like it when you're gripping it, you have a little bit of a guard. Um, yeah, I, I think it's great. Um, a lot of people don't like how big it is. That's your opinion. My personal opinion, it's awesome. I love it. It's, uh, it's very comfortable. I mean, operate it. Before you, before you knock it, use it. Because you, you, after you use it once, you're like, yeah, that's, that's kind of nice. Who cares whatever happened in that pocket? I mean, it's awesome. Put your change in a different pocket. Get out of here. Come on. Freaking pocket pecker. Who cares? So cons. I, this, I searched and searched. I carried this thing since I got it all week long here. I found one thing for me beyond tiny, but I felt I had, so I had the prototypes and uh, watched my video. I didn't comment on it, but, but now I'm feeling, I feel like the jimping, I wish it was a, a little more aggressive. Um, it's very smooth. I mean, it's not going to tear up your finger, but I don't feel like it's really given me much either. Um, I mean, it's more than, more than a smooth blade, but I feel like it would be kind of fun with this Aggressive design and, and, and these angles could have been a, maybe a little more aggressive with the jimping, but <laughs> come on, that is beyond nitpicky and uh, I'm almost embarrassed to talk about it. So another con, like I just mentioned, for some people will be the flipper tab. Not a con for me. I just wanted to mention it. Some people will find that to be annoying, but I don't find it annoying at all. Um, as your hand goes in the pocket. I, I don't, everything's smooth. Like I said, fit, fit and finish and the ergos, everything is rounded and chamfered and, and uh, yeah, it's just awesome. And last thing, sorry to backtrack. Um, since everything is all rounded and everything, I love, and I had this with the prototypes too, absolutely love the access to your lock bar. It is comfortable. You don't, it doesn't hurt your, your thumb. I think, that's what I think. Brian thought of everything with this knife. It's wonderful. So final thoughts on the Sharp by Design Evo Typhoon. Bar none. Bar none, this thing, this thing knocks out. I'm sorry. Knocks out the North Arm Skaha for my best knife. This thing has a pretty incredible action. I mean, I. I admit that. Um, when <laughs> when you handle this thing and operate it and feel the smoothness and the ergonomics, you have a look, you know that you have that titanium heft. You can't go wrong. This is it. I don't know where I go from here. Um, throw some comments down there. Uh, what what should I purchase next? What's the, what's what's gonna get me? to put, to take this king down. King in the castle, king in the castle. Off my number one shelf. What what can take this down? I, I don't know. Um, uh, but right now, this is king in my collection. So thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed this. Um, please like, subscribe, comment below. I really appreciate it. I read every comment. Um, I know I'm a really teeny tiny YouTuber, but I'm having fun with this and I really appreciate everything. And uh, you guys have a great day, and we'll see you on the next one. Thanks a lot.